Hey friends from all around the world, thank you so much for watching this video. I am Max Carlton, and today we're going to check out how bad one of these passive resistive attenuators really is. <laughs> Please also don't forget that I upload videos every Sunday, so if you want to see those videos, please click that subscribe button, guys. So a lot of guys on the internet and in the real world tend to bash a lot on the resistive attenuators, and this is one of them. But in my opinion, a lot of times what they are hearing is really that there isn't as much air being pushed as normally, and also the speakers are not being pushed in the same way. If you take those things into account, this thing really does a pretty nice job. And again, at different volume levels, we tend to hear things differently. So we're going to check out how bad this thing really is and if it is really a thing. <laughs> So this attenuator is a Harley Benton power attenuator. I think you can get the updated model by now on the Toman website and I will include a link for that as well. So what I'm doing is I'm going from the Harley Benton power attenuator into the two notes torpedo capture and that is basically to get rid of all of those factors that I was talking about, like the air and the speaker being pushed. So it is a static IR that is put on top the amp that uh, is coming out of here. So basically what you're hearing is what this guy is taking away from the amp when we're turning it down. And then I'm pushing the out level on the capture up to make up for the volume loss using this attenuator. Other than that, I'm using my Gibson 61 reissue SG with a DiMarzio 36th anniversary PF in the bridge and a DiMarzio EG custom in the neck. I'm also using the coil split function on here and also the parallel function on the bridge. I do have two pedals on the floor and those are a Spark by TC Electronics, the mini one, just for a straight up clean boost. And then I'm also using a Ditto Looper to make sure that the part I played was exactly the same on every sound sample you're hearing. The cabinet I'm using in the Wall of Sound 3 software will appear right now on the screen. So guys, in the sound examples, I'm starting out from the amp, which is a Marshall 1987X straight into the torpedo capter. Then I'm adding the attenuator on nine, which is a couple of dB attenuation. Then I'm going straight away to six, then I'm going to two, and then I'm going to as low as I can get it, which is about 0.5. So without further ado, let's get into the sound samples, guys. Thank you. 
So there you have it guys, please let me know if you could hear a lot of difference. In my opinion, in the lowest settings, it was still holding up pretty good. You lost a little, little, little bit of high end, but it was really still an awesome sound in my opinion. And there was not really a lot to say about it. Again, in the real world, it is going to sound a little bit different due to the fact that you don't push your speakers as much and that you don't push as much air. But keep in mind that with an amp with a good master volume, which means that all of the sound is coming from the preamp, means that um, you actually are going to get the same exact issues as with this attenuator. So really you want to compensate for some kind of air and some kind of speakers being pushed so you're not going to get it in another way what you are going to get with a higher end attenuator is you're going to retain a lot of details that maybe got lost with this passive attenuator but in my opinion it is really okay for knocking it down a little bit and even for knocking it down a lot unless you are really picky about those bedroom volumes but then again in my opinion you are better off with some kind of cabinet simulation 
like the two notes. I'm loving the two note stuff. So please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like if you liked the video. Please dislike if you disliked. And please subscribe to the channel, guys. It really helps me out. And then I will see you guys next Sunday. Yeah.